Thank you. Good afternoon, and thank you for coming this afternoon. Uh, I'm before you today as Acting Attorney General and Acting Minister of Legal Affairs in the Attorney General's absence off-island. I would like to address reports today that there has been improper conduct or contact or agreement between the government and the Commission of Inquiry regarding its request for information about the L.F. Wade project. The Commission of Inquiry is an independent body. It is carrying out its duties as set in its terms of reference that are limited to the period of the Auditor General's report for the years 2010, 2011, and 2012. Government has been consistent in its representations to the Commission that the L.F. Wade project is not within their terms of reference or scope. The Commission has persisted in requesting documents and has asked civil servants to provide information about the airport project. Although government has advised that civil servants must cooperate with the Commission, our position has not changed that the L.F. Wade project is not within the Commission's term of reference or scope. To be clear, there was no undertaking given to the government by the Commission. The government asked that the Commission hold its request for L.F. Wade documents in abeyance pending commercial close of the airport redevelopment project but commercial close has been delayed, so the Commission went ahead with its request to civil servants. Civil servants need not reply to requests for information that is not relevant to the terms of reference. The Supreme Court recently confirmed in BECL versus Commissioners and AG, it's 2016 reference, that a Commission of Inquiry is not a roving inquiry and cannot set its own terms of reference. The court confirmed that, quote, witnesses are only required to answer relevant questions, unquote. Therefore, questions relating to the L.F. Wade project are not relevant to any issue before the commission. Witnesses before the commission have the same rights and privileges that they would have when appearing before the courts in legal proceedings. They may and should advise the commission that the L.F. Wade documents are not relevant. The court stated that the Commission's mandate is primarily anchored to the financial years 2010, 2011, and 2012, and the matter is addressed in Section 3 of the Auditor General's report. This finding may have implications for the range of documents falling outside this time period which can be properly sought. This is a strong indication that the project is outside the terms of reference. Therefore, and in short, the Commission and the government disagree, and the Commission will have to make a ruling. Certain documents related to the project are protected by public interest immunity. They are contract documents subject to negotiation. Some documents are already in the public domain and have been provided to the Public Accounts Committee. Other documents cannot be disclosed at this time. They contain information and documentation that is proprietary to the developer. Until the negotiations are finalized, government cannot release these documents. It would be in violation of a non-disclosure agreement. The release of confidential, proprietary information would cause real and substantial harm to the commercial development partners and would not be in the public interest. It would harm their commercial position and be in violation of our agreement. The release of this information would harm Bermuda's reputation as a good place to do business. So it is these reasons that requests for information in these matters cannot be honored. After the process is complete, we look forward to working with the various parties to provide relevant information. I trust that these remarks make the government's position clear. Thank you. Questions? Is a particularly distressing development considering how important the government um, relates to the Commission of Inquiry findings? Uh, no, I, I don't think it is. Um, as I've said in the statement, uh, there is a disagreement between the Commission and the government in respect of what documents are disclosable and what questions can or cannot be asked of civil servants. In our view, as we've said, it's outside the scope of the terms of reference of the Commission. The Commission will make a determination of that 
but the government will be objecting to it and uh, wait for a determination by the Commission in that regard. The Commission had other projects in mind that were outside the um, direct dates of the, of the uh, auditor's reports. Will the same thing apply to them? Um, I don't know what other projects this may be. It would be for a matter for the Commission to make those requests, and the government would look at those at that time. Will the government be prepared to go to court if the Commission so desires, as was the case with uh, the emissions company? Um, I think that there is sufficient precedent within the BECL versus Commissioner's case, and it is our view that the Commission will decide in our favor. Um, anything that happens post that is a decision that will be taken at that time by the Attorney General on his return. Some, well, individuals that we spoke with within the civil service, senior civil servants, suggested that it was perhaps inappropriate that government and the Commission of Inquiry should be having discussions about holding certain, certain questions in abeyance. Will you respond? In the first instance, I believe language was used that there was some form of undertaking given by uh, the Commission uh, to the Bermuda government. That's simply not the case. Uh, there is absolutely nothing wrong of any way of representations being made to the Commission when requests are made to explain why the government is taking a certain position. Again, uh, the Commission will hear arguments in relation to that, uh, and no doubt a decision will be made, and the government will make a decision at that time as to what other avenues may be pursued. But the head of the civil service in an email to other permanent secretaries advised them that there was an agreement, so to speak, between the government and the commission that any queries on the airport project would be held in abeyance. Why would he say that? Um, again, what I have said in my statement is that there was no undertaking given by the commission to the government. Uh, that much I have made very clear indeed. Uh, in respect of um, any other matter, uh, again, I have said that there is absolutely nothing wrong with the government making a representation to the Commission. We have said throughout this process, in respect of airport documents, that we have disclosed everything that we possibly can that is not proprietary information. Post-close, then those documents can be made available to the Public Accounts Committee through PADI requests or some other avenue. But as we have said repeatedly, documents that are schedules to the particular agreements or proprietary information, and we cannot disclose those because of confidentiality agreements. The Attorney General's chambers gave advice on the airport project on the grounds that it was outside the remit of the Commission of Inquiry. As Brian indicated, there are, there are other matters that are being looked at by the Commission that fall outside that, fall outside fiscal 2010 to 2012. Why didn't the Attorney General's Chambers give advice, and I know that you're going to be acting AG, why didn't the Attorney General's Chambers give advice on those, those projects? What I'm not going to do is talk about advice that has or has not been given by the Attorney General's Chambers to the client, which is the Government of Bermuda. Uh, that would be inappropriate at this time. If the AG decides to take a different tact, he can do so on his return. A great deal of information has been released about the airport project, mm -hmm. which is above board and, and open to the public. Why wouldn't the Commission be able to look into that situation? Because that basically is the project's um, rationale, and that's something that they could consider. Again, uh, the Commission has taken a view in respect of what documents that they wish to see. And of course, as I've said, most of the documents related to this project have already been put in the public domain. Uh, in respect of whatever other documents, specific documents they're requesting, that will be reviewed by the government. Wouldn't that be sufficient for um, as I've said, in our view, the scope of the Commission of Inquiry is limited. The scope is what it is for 10, 11, and 12, um, and I've made that clear in my statement. I feel that could suggest my words mischief on the part of the government in that it's seeking to have the airport project not touched by the Commission of Inquiry, but again, going back to projects outside of 2010 to 2012, fiscal 2010 to 2012, are in fact being looked at by the Commission, but no word from government on whether that is outside of their limit or not. I'm not sure that I understand the question. The, the point again is that this Commission of Inquiry has been given limited scope in respect of those issues that have been identified by the Auditor General in the report from 2010, 11, and 12. Issues related to the airport are not included in that report. 
The government has been more open in respect of this airport project than any other project in the history of Bermuda. That's very clear indeed. What we have said repeatedly and have never swayed from this position or hidden anything, that certain documentation is proprietary to the developer is something that cannot be disclosed at this time for very good reason. Let's pretend for a moment that the deal collapsed tomorrow. Proprietary matters that have been put into the public domain, if they were put in the public domain, would be severely detrimental to a potential developer prior to the close of a deal. It simply would not make sense in any way, shape, or form. Uh, and nobody would do business here again if they felt that their proprietary interests were somehow to be subject to some form of inquiry, in which, by the way, there has been no allegation by any official in terms of the Auditor General or otherwise that has done anything wrong in this project whatsoever. I hasten to add that the Auditor General made very disparaging remarks in respect of other matters that fell within the scope of her report, and that is the scope within the Commission. The decision to look into the airport made public by the Commission was some time ago. Why has it taken so long to, to reach this conclusion? I'm sorry, Brian, could you repeat that? The Commission announced it was going to look into the airport months ago. Why has it taken until now to decide that that's not fair? Um, again, um, in uh, my statement, I made reference to the fact that the Commission had been advised that certain documents would be made available at commercial close. Commercial close has been pushed off. Uh, and as such, um, it is, uh, one would suppose that given the understanding that commercial close may have been in another date, they have continued with their requests. There will be um, a hearing in respect of this matter, and representations will be made at the appropriate time. You're saying that the project might fall through. Uh, it's I didn't. I, di I didn't say that. I said let's. In, in let's. I said. I said let's pretend for a moment. In the event that it did uh, fall through, but from all indications, this, this appears to be a foregone conclusion. We have a number of contracts out that have already been issued by the, the company in charge of the project. So, when we the uh, commission see that as perhaps an indication that they should in fact be provided with the information that they requested? Again, at commercial close and financial close, and if something is completed at that time, documents would be subject to PADI requests and Public Accounts Committee scrutiny. So the project, in your opinion, still isn't finalized? We have not hit commercial or financial close. How long do you anticipate before that? that might we haven't hit commercial or financial close. Sir, um, I, honestly, I don't get what the big deal is over this. I mean, it's not being put in the public domain. It's, it's going before the, um, the Commission of Inquiry. It's going before a, a few people who are going to be holding uh, what they're working on to, to themselves. It, why is it an issue if uh, the independent commission looks at the schedules? Um, there are, in law, non-disclosure agreements, and those non-disclosure agreements have been signed. Uh, now, again, representations we made by the government in respect of that, um, but it is our position uh, that um, certain documents are not disclosable, notwithstanding the fact that it remains our view uh, that the airport and any questions relating to the aer airport do in fact fall outside the scope um, of the Commission's work uh, pursuant to the case uh, BECL uh, versus AG that I have cited. I still don't understand why the finance minister didn't cry foul when the commission announced it. Um, uh, representations were made to the commission, as I have said, that certain documents were not disclosable. That, in our view, was enough, um, but the commission has pressed on, and that will be subject, no doubt, to representations to the commission at the appropriate why did time. The government seek, uh, uh, promise from the, uh, the commission that the information would be held in um, Again, representations were made. No undertakings have been given. And that's the most that I can tell you at this time, Gary. Thank you.